Vigor Warriors! Back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. Welcome, my friends. Welcome, warriors, fellow warriors. We're happy to be on again and have another episode. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are conquesting. Hope you guys are getting things done. Make yourself the best possible person you can become and under God's purpose. So uh, we're going to talk about auras a little bit today. Rudy F. had a good, uh, good comment talking about feeling the aura. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. But before that, a few shout outs that we want to cover. Uh, TKO, thank you, my friend. Chang V, uh, Chang 5, uh, I appreciate always the comments, my friends. And the idea is that you don't really want to focus on a girlfriend unless you're going to, unless you really want one. My best, my best advice, my friends, warriors, is don't concentrate on having a girlfriend. Those that will happen in due time become the best person you can become, and those things will happen. Don't be chasing women around. That's the best advice I can give you. They will chase you, which is a natural flow of life. Not what we've been hearing all these years about putting women on a pedestal and those things. Remember, the women need to find people who they want to mate with. This is the bottom line of the way the society is. And they're going to look for males that are high quality value males that are warriors. So don't you worry. You become the best person you can become. You'll have so many women you want to, and with the energy you have, you're not going to have a problem with this. So don't worry about that kind of stuff. Uh, Guido Perez, thank you, my friend. Uh, Frank Self, 19 days, keep it up. Again, Chang 5, thank you. Um, Justin Green, Guido Perez again. JDS, uh, day 9, great. Um, you, The more you can do this, the more you can get away from boringness. Do not get bored. bored boredom can actually create going down the hill, going down that rabbit hole. You want to get you want to get excited about things, get into hobbies, do things, get away from thinking about women and do other things. And that's great. Don't even look at the pictures or anything like that. Just do things to get away from all that. Keep it up, my friend. Uh, uh coupon, thank you my friend. Uh Jesus uh Cardonas, thank you. Suave 901, world ch class champion, SR Nine two zero zero seven or nine Z zero zero seven. AJ Cooper and Maja uh, Maji Bad uh, is wet dream a relapse? I don't consider it is. I don't consider it is. I think it's something that happens once again. It's your deliberate type of thing when you're looking at pictures or you're you're releasing on purpose. That's what's going to kill you over time. If you're doing it to procreate, if it if it happens, those things happen. But the key, my friends, is to create a lifestyle that you're going to get away from that. All right, so going back to uh, a shout-out at three minutes here, and we'll kind of focus on this when I post this tomorrow. But we're going to go back with Rudy F., and I'll shout-out to you, my friend. He talks about the fact that you can feel the aura. Now, what do we mean by that? Now, we've talked about this before, but for those new subscribers, and we got a bunch of new ones always coming on board. We're, almost, we're over 3,000, so bless the Lord. Thank you guys for all your help. Uh, I've had people kind of comment to me, do you want to go ahead and do, um, you know, uh, elaborate types of things? I don't. I really want to make sure I just get the message to you guys. That's the main thing. But I understand what you're saying about better quality, all that kind of stuff. And that will happen in due time. So the auras. Let's talk about the auras. We talk about the auras. We're talking about the energy force you have around you. You look at Kelder's book. You look at a lot of research that talks about that matter, and I teach, one of the classes I teach uh, during the day is physics, and I talk about energy and matter. We're all made up of matter and energy. We have energy with us. Now, what that energy is, uh, you can call it whatever you want to call it, but it's a force around you, and you've got to go ahead and look at that energy pattern. People will connect by energy. This is called the law of attraction and a lot of things. Go back to the old uh, the um, uh, you know, uh, ideas of the gods and talking about the secret and Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. It all focuses on the same thing. You have energy that you're displaying out there every day of your lives, warriors. Good or bad, you're giving out the energy. If you're worried, if you're upset, if you're stressed out, you're presenting that. And I used to do that for years, not always realizing what type of energy I was giving out. People react to that. 
they will sense that. On the other hand, if your energy is a positive one, if your, your aura is something where a lot of people are looking at that and are attracted to it, then, then they will come and want to be part of that. And a lot of times they can't even, they can't help themselves. And especially when we're talking about women here. They cannot help yourself. I, every, even when I went to, uh, you know, watched a musical group tonight, it's amazing to me the looks you get and the attraction, the nice behavior you get from people because they sense that energy level with you. That wasn't always the case. I was very negative in my childhood as a, as a, a young warrior. Uh, I had negative type of attitudes, negative things happening, not feeling too well. All those things were negative. And what happened was I created negative people around me. The people I had around me just reinforced the same negative attitudes that I had about myself. And I didn't have hope. I had depression. A lot of those things were negative, And it hurt me a lot. And that's why I know from experience, you cannot allow that to creep into your life. So what retention does is it allows you to be the strongest you can become. You keep the nutrients in your body. You keep you keep those vital that vital seed, and now you become stronger. And as you become stronger, you're less anxious, you're less upset, and now life looks a lot more positive to you. In fact, it's all positive. The longer you do this, the more positive you get about life and the superhuman power you have. And as a result of that, now you're 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 putting out that energy level that's a tremendous force field and people can't avoid it you could tell this by you looking at people that look at you especially women women will directly stare at you for periods long periods of time i've had this happen so many times recently it's unbelievable and what they do a lot of times don't even know they're staring they're sitting there because they can't they don't know what they're looking at is so beautiful to them or they're just so fixated on it that they can't tell what that aura is. Now, eventually, you know, you can say hi, the person says hi, but basically, they're caught in a trance. I go back to the old thing about Dracula, and I know part of that is made up for movies, but the old vampire, my Bella Lugosi the vampire back in the old days, used to hypnotize women. And this is part based partly on this truth, that young women... If you have such an aura, and certainly that vampire, I mean, he probably wasn't having, he wasn't, wasn't releasing, I'm sure. Let <laughs> me make a joke of this a little bit. But the vampire wasn't releasing, right? So he had 150 years of retention. Now, I have, I'm half joking, but I'm half serious too. That had tremendous, so the power he had in that sense, now he didn't use it for good, but the power he had, no wonder he can hypnotize women. Women were awestruck with that man's power. And though it's based on some fiction and some other type of stories, you can see why that would happen. That aura was so strong that that woman, the women could not, especially younger women, could not deal with it. They were fixated, almost like in a trance. And this is what happens when they can feel that aura. They feel that power and they gravitate to that power because they need that power. They want that power. They want to be around that power no matter what happens. And this is why we go from looking at you as a person, and I suggested this in some of the shout-outs, don't focus on the women. Don't focus on this these pictures and things that you do because you want to have a woman or you may be lonely, those things. These things happen. But I guarantee you, the more you retain, the more you focus on yourself, the less you'll be lonely. You'll get caught up in things, you'll do things, you'll get hobbies, you'll focus on yourself, you'll better yourself. You have no time to feel lonely. You have no time to sit there and worry about women. And as a result of that, they will be tracking you down because they sense that aura. What's different about this warrior now? What's different about this warrior? What's different about the warrior is you've learned how to control yourself. That controlled anger, fury, uh, intensity is there and you can feel it and as you feel it more others see it and they feel it and they cannot stop subconsciously from drawing to you now it may result in men or women giving you a 
a, a handshake, a warm welcome, inviting you to talk with you, wanting to have a conversation with you, or it might be as far as women playing with their hair, playing with things, or playing with their, um, you know, uh, all kinds of stuff. Their eye contact is prolonged eye contact. They they want to be near you. They'll suddenly appear because the idea is that they're trying to get near you because they want that energy. They sense it. They know you're different as a warrior, and they sense that aura. So Rudy F. is is absolutely right. They can sense the aura, and they feel you. They actually feel a, a, a intensity level that just overwhelms them. And this is why we talk about this whole idea that you have to become the best person you become. It's almost like you have the fuel to run this Lamborghini. You are the Lamborghini. Now, what you do with the Lamborghini is, is up to you. Are you going to go around flaunting it around and just run around in circles? Or are you using it to travel, to do things, and to actually use it in a right purpose? Right? Are you using it to be useful? Or are you basically kind of just using it for pleasure and you're eventually going to run that car down? But if you use it at only the right times for things you need to do, then that's a whole different matter. The same thing with your bodies. The same thing with your energy. If you're using that energy for things that are constructive, for God's purposes, that aura will be with you. Now, I remember uh, Charles, I think, had said this, and I go back to his comment a lot because it's something that I'm still, I'm not that sure of myself. Something I think about a lot. When these women look at you and stare at you like it's happened to me many times over the last, you know, even last month, are they staring because they see God in you? Or are they staring because of the energy? I'm not totally sure. But I will tell you this, it's something subconscious, biological. They're not even aware they're doing it. They're not even aware they're doing it. And I know that because I talked to one right after they stopped. They did not even know they were staring. It was almost like they were in a trance. Unbelievable. But the aura is believable. It is a high-intensity superpower you have. The longer you keep it within yourself. So every drop you lose is, is defeating yourself. Unless, of course... You're trying to procreate. That's a different matter. But it doesn't mean you have to go ahead and do this all the time. In fact, this is why it's killing our society right now because too many, too many men are wasting their energy and becoming less of men. And I see this all the time out there. You could tell people who don't have any kind of retention. 99% of people out there I'm watching even today in crowds, they don't have it. You could tell. You could tell they're releasing energy all over the place. Because they don't have that aura. And what you really want to have is the aura, the energy force around you that helps you. So, Rudy, great comment. And once again, guys, you got to keep building yourself up. Don't worry about the women. Build your goals. Follow God's purposes. Meditate, pray. Do those things to build yourself up physically, mentally, spiritually, intellectually. And, and get out there and help the world become a better world. You are the warrior. Protection and providing. That's the key thing. And you'll see a lot of people coming towards you. Opportunities galore. Because of your aura. And to me, that's a fact. All right, my friends. Well, another great type of topic. And we'll try to do one tomorrow. We get a chance. Hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. I'll probably post this in the morning. So uh, always remember two things, my friends. One. Every day is a new day to a great warrior, and you guys are all great warriors, because you always continue to battle!